Hello, this is uh, November Oscar II Charlie Whiskey uh, with another uh, quick uh, video regarding the PSK31 capabilities of the KX2 uh, radio. Uh, this is my KX2 and I've been using it uh, to send and receive PSK signals uh, using uh, an external computer. Uh, this is not the internal mode available within the PSK, um, within the KX2 but using an external Windows based computer, a laptop, a tablet, uh, or whatever you happen to have. Um, in my previous video, I described how I use it uh, with the help of an external laptop USB sound card, and that's a pretty neat solution. And today, uh, I'm, I take that one step further, and the one step further is using nothing more than a splitter cable, basically using the sound card that exists inside the laptop. Um, how does that work? Well, on the KX2 side, we do have the, uh, the cable there on the left, which is our ACC control cable that sends the control to the radio and connects the radio to a uh, ham radio deluxe. The two audio cables coming out are for microphone and uh, um, phones, and those are 3.5 millimeter cables, audio cables. And on the computer side, this is what we have. Uh, number one is the USB uh, inbound cable. That's for the computer control. And here is my uh, splitter. The sound card inside the laptop combines the um, headphone and uh, microphone inputs and outputs. And what we need in this case is a simple uh, splitter here, a cord that splits the two and uh, one is our microphone and the other one will be our phones. Um, this cord I ordered from um, eBay I believe cost me about six dollars. You can find those in, uh, on Amazon and eBay and if you want to get it from a really reputable stores, uh, B&H has them for six dollars as well. And uh, when you get one of these make sure you don't confuse it with a simple headphone splitting cables with, uh, cords which allow you to plug in uh, two headphones and, and share the same uh, music source for example. What this cord does, it splits microphone and headphones. So make sure you're getting the right kind, otherwise you'll be wondering why, uh, why it's not doing what, uh, what you expect it to do. So nothing more than that, uh, this is our setup. Uh, I've plugged in the KX2 into the um, the computer, which is a laptop in this case, and uh, I have the audio cables. And uh, let's look at the waterfall. It's um, it's about five in the afternoon here, and that's a pretty good time of the day to uh, find uh, good PSK31 propagation on uh, on 20 meters. So I've been looking at this waterfall, and it's been very very busy. Um, a lot of signals coming in. Um, if I was to call a CQ and I would find a frequency where I uh, checked a few minutes ago there was no activity and that's not easy to find but I will call my CQ here for example and um, one thing that you will notice immediately is there is no traditional PSK31 uh, sound coming out of the speakers. This is because of the way we are connecting to the computer. In order to get that out, what you would need here is <laughs> split the headphones out into two. One can go into a spe uh, speaker or headphones and the other one will continue onto the radio. If you do that, however, keep in mind that anytime you split these signals, the, the level there gets split as well. These are not amplified signals so the more you add the weaker they get. So after a couple of calls here we are with uh, a number of uh, hits from PSK reporter mostly the US East Coast and uh, I see one from uh, Europe as well. I am running 5 watts into a dipole. Uh, not bad for uh, for 5 watts and, and a dipole and um, just to give you an idea of what's out there this is in the meantime what my PSK 31 station received um, plenty of signals from uh, the East Coast and, and, and a lot of them from Europe. So this is the setup that you can use to transmit PSK31 directly 
And uh, this laptop, of course, here, you could picture that as a, as a small tablet. The only challenge there is uh, many tablets will share, uh, will use USB to, to charge them as well. So keep in mind that if a tablet has a single USB uh, input, uh, the, it may be multi-purpose and you really have to plan that well. Uh, what you need to plug in, how many things, and and uh, make sure every device has uh, uh, has an available slot for it. So thank you for checking this out. Uh, the connection is very simple. The functionality could not be any simpler, uh, and uh, um, the settings um, are, are simple as well. So great job, um, KX2 uh, Helicraft, for uh, putting together this uh, this radio. Uh, once you establish connectivity with a computer, uh, it, it, it just works uh, perfectly uh, uh, well. The two of them talk together very, very well. Uh, nice waterfall, nice picture. Thank you, 73 from NO2CW.